Maltzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time I've got a bottle of beer from Brewdog. It's no other ordinary Brewdog beer. It's a bottle of Dog E, their ninth anniversary beer. An Imperial Stout at 16.1. Um, obviously based on their original AB04, which has then gone on to be the uh, beer that um, influenced the beers. They like reduced part of their um, yearly um, anniversary release. So it's an Imperial Stout with um, cacao, coffee, and a little bit of Niagara chili and barrel aged. But yeah, I've always really enjoyed these beers. 16.1. So let's get it in glass and see what we've got. I've got high hopes as always for this beer. It's serious stuff. It's barrel aged, it's, 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 it's got a bit of a fizz to it, which is encouraging. And I don't think it's bottle commissioned. Yeah, that's all cool. So I'll get every little last drop. Fantastic. So, being the last, I should expect black as night. No head to speak of. It did fizz away quite quickly. I mean, it's 16.1, it's barrel aged, it's not going to really have that kind of quality. So, let's give it a gentle swirl and a sniff, check out the aroma. I'm not getting massive, massive amounts out of it. I'm trying to be careful because I've got quite a full glass. The only thing that jumps out is kind of leather and it's just really damp malt. You get a load of that kind of, you get kind of, it's the damp um, spirit soaked wood. It doesn't say what barrels, I mean, I presume it's um, some kind of whiskey barrel. I'm getting more now actually, a lot of kind of fig and raisin, marzipan. Yeah, a lot of dry fruit. A real kind of like dense treacle, kind of, sorry, molasses. But yeah, you get that kind of like damp spirit laden wood is the most prominent thing. And that kind of, that kind of, the acidity you get from damp malts and that you get from those kind of, kind of spent, kind of burning embers of a fire. Mm, let's dive in. Cheers. Mmm, such a massive flavour. Okay, yeah, you're getting a bit of heat. Oh, I can feel it going all the way down. <laughs> I get raspberries, raspberries, blackberries, marzipan. Definitely chilli, I'm getting the chilli. Oh, it's warming up my ears, yeah. Good amount of chilli heat. It's a, that dry kind of like powdery chilli heat. But loads of dark chocolate, loads of molasses, rum soaked raisins. It's a sipper without a doubt. Very rich, like 95% cacao chocolate. Yeah, you're getting the kind of like, um, if, you, if you've had the kind of like chocolate covered um, coffee beans, it's like that. This warming chocolate, warming chilli, and it is. I can feel it in my entire head. I feel like I'm going a bit flush. <laughs> I'm going to drink a glass of water outside of this. It really needs it. It's massive. It's big, alcoholic, and the alcoholic burn is accentuated by the um, by, well, by the chilli heat as well. But the flavour is beautiful really balanced for what it is, I mean, because it's in, in its very nature, it's a bit nuts, so it shouldn't be. But masterfully done. I mean, drink it fresh, you'll get all the intense quality. Give it a bit of time, it'll drop out a little bit, mature. You know what? Drink it fresh. This beer needs to be enjoyed for everything that it's intended to be. So, ho ho ho. It's a real kind of, it's like a it's like a facial from the inside out. And that's a bottle of Doggy Knife Anniversary Ale from Brewdog up in Ellen Scotland. Sixteen point one percent ABV Imperial Stout Barrel Age Chili fucking all that monster stuff. Lovely stuff. I'm Rob from Popsy.com. See you next time. Cheers.